I often think of getting myself a cape that says Master of Science Mommy and <laughs> going out Master of Science Mommy. Um, so I do sometimes feel like a superhero and I have to remind myself, but I am a superhero. When somebody says you have autism or your daughter has autism, there's a lot of preconceived notions about what that means and I had a lot of biases about that. Um, what I was totally unprepared for as her parent was the specialness that she that she had and her ability. She's gifted in, in ways that aren't typical, that are probably not even valued in our society necessarily, but she just has this amazing ability to be present. She's just here in this moment and she is just in awe of what's happening around her because she, she's just excited by things and she's interested in things. So recently we were cleaning out closets and my bachelor and my, ma my bachelor's degree, my master's degree have been matted and framed. And it was interesting because it sparked a lot of um, questions and conversation with her. Um, she was very interested in what the meaning was of a Bachelor of Science and what the meaning was of a Master of Science and how in the world did I achieve this? <laughs> so um, we had lots of, of conversations that were kind of funny. I tried to simplify. She was just intrigued by this idea that um, you could become a Master of, of Science. And so through all that, I'm not sure what she processed or where that landed, but she be began calling me um, Master of Science Mommy. Um, she over and over again would say, I am so lucky to have a Master of Science Mommy. And so about a week or so after hanging up the diplomas, Natalie and I were getting a special little drink ready for her to take to school for a party that they were going to have at school that day. And I had suggested to her that maybe she would want to put ice cubes in it to keep it cold. She liked that idea. So she started dropping ice cubes into the thermos. And um, the thermos had a constricted neck. And as she was dropping ice cubes, one got stuck. And um, she looked at me with panic um, in her eyes and sort of fear. And it made me realize, um, you know, I just kind of looked at her, I'm like, it's just an ice cube, it's, you know, it's okay. Um, but those are the moments when I have to back up and realize, okay, she's, she doesn't approach things like a typical 10 year old. She's, some, her processing and her problem solving skills aren't quite there. And um, she looked to me for help. And so I grabbed the straw end of the thermos and, bang the ice cube down into the bottom of the thermos. And the look that I got next from her was just this look of awe and, and amazement at my feat of, of wondrous thinking and skill that I had just accomplished with this ice cube. And what she said next was just this very innocent little Natalie thing to say, wow, mommy, you are the smartest mommy. That is why you are master of science, mommy. And I was, I, I didn't know to laugh or to cry at that second because what it did, it was just like this profound statement of awe. She was just in awe of my being and and this was why, because I knew how to bang ice cubes down out of the neck of a bottle and get them unstuck. And she was in awe of that, and it was amazing. And I felt like it was God looking at me saying, wow, you are so perfect. You are so perfect in all your imperfection, in all your ordinariness, in all your simple things that you do as a mommy every day. You are so simple and perfect. And and she just looked at me and, I, and she, when she said, You're, you are a master of science mommy, I was like, I am, I am awesome. And I am a master of science mommy. And wow, that is pretty amazing.